Let's go. No changes from one to zero. DK ghouls. And so win with the blade. We've seen this before. From Lin on map one. That was autumn leaves, I think. I'm not 100% certain, but uh, yeah, Blade Master back on TM. Second last match for Soen. Nine matches per player. Wasn't he two and six? Oh, two and five. True. Second last match for Soen. Thank you. So that's the Golem Creep. One to zero is plugging this already. <laughs> okay, he knows what's up. He wants to screw with the pull. But yeah, getting punished for it pretty much immediately. Wait, see, it's one to zero expanding on tier one. A player's forces are under attack. What? First orc against the blade? Okay. It was close. Okay, fast tech versus fast expo. Yo, Josh, thank you for signing up to our Patreon. Much love, mate. Nuts! Boots of Kelta nuts! This is sick blade already. How do you stop this blade master with ghouls only? GG, GG, the item. Okay. Pimp your blade continues first though. This is a little bit of time. Like, so in. He doesn't know this, right? Puts the grunt to the side. He won't be caught by ghouls, but. This is, uh. A player's force it's not a normal path. play. It's something you don't expect. Wow, circlet here goes for the warlord. Not bad. Goes the magi. Not what he wanted. Imagine a second boots of Keltalas. Um, this expo is working. Is unpunished. Tower coming up. Gold mine coming up. I'm creeping now. <laughs> Shenanigans work. <laughs> At least he's creeping a lot. But uh, 1 to 0 will catch up. Ghoul's fantastic for creeping. Especially when you get a little bit of gold. Mate. Mm, Room of Major good for SH? Yes, 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 of course. So either Soin knows and muscling up an attack on tier 2 or he's absolutely clueless. Double gauntlet, sold. Okay, that camp is gone, that camp is gone. And now the big surprise. Gotta adjust tier three tech. This narrow tower makes it so hard to get kills. I think this is just a scouting mistake. Sick push! Wow, this game is down the dumpster! Isn't it? A 
barely any damage. No heal selves anymore. No way to escape except Windwalk. Too easy to maneuver against. The Acolytes are all safe. Tech is unfolding. Second Necropolis, so you can even rebuild the Acolytes. And the Ghoul pressure here is strong. Shadowhunter can't creep. Huge mistake. To not scout properly. Until the tier 3 tech was started. A player's forces are under attack. What? Oh, the steel! <laughs> One, two, zero is pretty much styling on Soin. One narrow tower and you can't touch the expansion anymore. So what you're saying is one unit should destroy an expansion even with fortification. That sounds really good. That sounds really clever. After watching Lynn destroy 1 to 0, this feels weird. Yeah, I mean this comes down to a scouting mistake. That's as as easy as it is. Level 2 Shadow Hunter is a problem. Blade Master, okay inventory, but nothing overwhelming. There's still red spots left. It's still twisted. If someone brings this back, I'm impressed. So what happened to Blade Master Headquarters? Would have left. One to zero, pretty on point. Invo potion on the ground. Speed scroll use. Just to get away. You cannot fight anything. This Blade Master is quite insane though. Dark Ranger third, reinforcement, ghouls coming, frenzy on the way, destroyers as well. A player's forces are under attack. So one isn't ready. So one isn't ready at all. We don't even have a TC yet. Wait, what? what? One to zero plays Banshees? What universe is this? He never goes Banshees. Or very, very rarely. Neil, you're always talking absolutes. Off we go, onto the Banshees, here's the curse, very good! 
Can't be dispelled. Stomp was a disaster. Shadow onto silence, pretty nice. The blade is really, really good. That stomp was also better. And with the help of the burrow, there is some fortification. But let's see for how long. Lich level two and a half could be a little better. Okay, TC is dead, is he not? Oh, 10 HP. Scroll the beast, quite good, especially on the blade. Was he hit by that? Not really. And the TC falls. It looked quite competitive for a bit, but now look at the reinforcements coming in. This is a lot. This is one to zero, just wiping the floor with Soin's beautiful hair. Where's the sustain supposed to be coming from? More and more and more curse. Needs to recurse the blade, I guess. No mana for frost armor, but the statues will surely salvage this. The fact that there are still duels is fascinating. Almost every unit has curse except the blade. Where it's supposed to be. And uh, Soen impressed with his fighting skills. Shout out to Carson, who says Soen has the best micro in the world. It is good. Uh, it's a good control, but I don't think it's enough. Oh, he almost got the heal wave ready. Oh, that's sad. Blade Master falls as well. Two out of three heroes down. So it isn't doing bad. Yeah, exactly. Like the fight for what it was, was really good, but just the 10 minutes prior were botched. expansion up. God, going for the shop is smart. And then swing back. Yeah, I think that's the play. So at 52. Ooh. I mean, he's still at two base. Did Lin play Wyvern each game? Every single game a different strategy. Wee panel of mana. Ho <laughs> ho ho the value. Okay, can we get a curse on the blade? Can we get a curse on the blade? Give me a curse on the blade. Ah, there we go. And misses immediately. Okay, another chance. Oh, wow. Cow is on the menu today. Just wiped out. Yep, and that's how Undead can look when you let it take off the ground. Cool to see Banshees. This is a pretty defensive play, like Banshee and Frost Armor. Yeah, but the efficiency is insane. When there's no Dispel, it's so good. Miss, 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 miss. Hmm. <laughs> so in suffering is uh, pretty heavy. Pretty heavy. There's even invo potions against the Hail Mary hero focus. At least he's back quickly. Can argue with that. Kodo would. Oh my god, no! It's not a good day to be a TZ. He's trying so hard. 
He's trying so, so, so hard. Goes for the lid. With the crit, he's dead. No, it will potion in time. This feels like... A 1-2-0 that is a lot more stable than before. Very few mistakes in general throughout this entire game. Having a few issues closing this out, but he's just not over... Uh, like, over committing. Miss, miss, perch, okay. 296! I guess it's fun to play with a blade master like this, isn't it? <laughs> the cow really loves the grass. <laughs> True that. Even the roots! Plate Master will be feeling a level 3 coil soon. Steady position, love it. <laughs> 2000 lumber. <laughs> Okay, no big red numbers anymore. GG. That was very clean from start to finish. Once this expansion got up. It was a little bit of a creeping fiesta. So not too exciting, I'd say. But yeah, um, not scouting an undead fast expansion. It just was just not in his mind. Wasn't on his mind! And then there was just a lot. A lot of fiends, a lot of statues, a lot of banshees, a lot of items. Good heroes. And for so in. I mean, the fights were good. He probably took this as a warm up game to a degree. That wasn't the real so in. Give him a good early game, and he's crazy competitive. Thanks for the cast, Neo. Back to Warcraft Goat. Looking forward to next year. Me too. I feel like Neo likes to say boom. You also did that at bowling. Well, boom is a nice word. B -O, o M. It also says a lot. It's just four letters. Says a lot. Who doesn't like to say boom? The great band P.O.D. already said, Boom, here comes the boom, ready or not. And that also goes for our next game. On Autumn Leaves. He is the boy from the south. <laughs> so in bottom left hand side. Jabba calls a lich first. Okay, let's see if he's the real prophet. I say DK first. A prophet battle. In the back to Warcraft chat, everybody. Jabba vs. Neo. We are at a headhunter build. A uh, grunt into headhunter build, I guess. Oh, the answer's coming. It's coming. Still, the OG prophet is NEO. Oh, yeah. Jabba, do your homework. You're not the real prophet yet. That is me. I still lick you, though. <laughs> yeah, good luck going into a prophet battle with me. Super fast tier 2 tech. Lin was incredibly successful with very different strategies. Wyvern, Raiders, Headhunter. Thank you, Yobo Design, for the three month resub. And he's feeling the fast CRS pretty much right off the bat. Ah, I forgot the ads again. Sit.
Ooh, steel. Nope. Frostborn hungers. Actually, Neo, it's not a real Frostborn. It's a replica. That's a very hard DK. Could think about selling the town portal, getting a ritual dagger. Out, purge. Damn, this is a good early game for Soen. Draining mana, draining HP. I love this new split personality where the other Neo instantly bashes the first Neo. Oh, you didn't figure out that I, my split personality is you. Okay. A couple of headhunters. Oh, the crest fallen! Actually, hail Satan, my little lambs. Thank you for the five euros, mate. Yo, uh, tough and defensive early game. Pretty much the norm recently. But then what? Is it Wyvern or not? Stealing this expansion away. Sweet. 1 2 0 can't do much. Lockdown. Skip the shop. Skipped many headhunters. And tier 3? Yeah. Ooh, is it the Soin build with orbs and stuff? Super fast expansion. From a caster perspective, this was one of the most fun build. Six ghouls coming though. And this is a fragile build. There's almost nothing online yet. Did I say the Soin build? No, not with orcs. With orbs. Multiple orbs. What? What, 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 what? Are you kidding me? Fire Lord incinerate first? <laughs> um. I'm a huge fan of Incinerate. It goes boom, and I like boom. Sick ghoul movement. It goes boom, as you see. Misclick, misclick, misclick. I don't know. If it's a misclick, I do see some play here. Like, items are good. It's a fragile build. Incinerate is nice. Soul burn is a bit of a silence. Dude, if that's a misclick. Oh, goes boom again. Scroll of the beast. Dude, these incinerates will hit hard. In my opinion, Fire Lord should be undead. I mean, look at him. It's basically a burning skull. How is he not undead? A player's forces are under attack. What does incinerate do? Uh, it's an orb, like you know, an orb of fire from a potter or something. Um, and the more, or oh, the more often you attack, the higher damage it does. I think first damage is plus three, then plus six, plus nine, etc. And if it dies while still under the effect of incinerate, it does AOE damage. And if all the headhunters are lined up in a concave 
and the incinerate goes boom, that is potentially a lot of damage. Creeping is pretty solid, I'd say. Not a lot of potion. Okay, still crazy map control. Um, like, obviously, the norm would be a Dark Ranger. Now the question is, what are the hotkeys? How does he structure his tavern? Because I guess he's not clicking... Like, it could be DNF. Like, Dark Ranger and Fire Lord DNF misclick. If he's using queer keys, though... There's a button between them. Cat, maybe? Um, isn't he destroying corpses? That's a good point. I think he does. Yeah, right? Yeah, soul burn. In case you're not seeing that too often, a um, it's a little attack. silence. It does damage over time, and wait, there was one more. It does three things. Oh, it's like cripple. Yeah, 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 yeah. It reduces damage. Oof! This is not easy. One to zero. But okay, we'll see the impact of a fire lord. And now you see... No steel. But still AoE. Boom! Here comes the Nova. Kind of a song of ice and fire. <laughs> Might not be successful, but at least it's fun. But yeah, you can't be coiled. That is a little bit of a problem. How much damage is reduced? Uh, 20%? 25%? I don't know. Quite a bit. 50% on level 1. Really? That's a lot. Okay, let's see how well Soulburn works as a silence against the TC and the Shadowhunter. Oh man, these ghouls though. Can they attack? Hex, focus, here's the Soulburn. Uh oh, where's the stop? Can't go for it! Massive! Oh boy. DK saved, ghouls all still alive. Would love to see more Chain Lightning, but probably can't afford it. Book of the Dead, Destroyer, Dispel, nicely fed. So it was minus 20. Yeah, it's 50%. Holy smokes. From plus 14 to minus 6 or something. And apparently it's not that easy to counter a Fire Lord. One base, one base. No orbs yet. Maybe if the Dark Ranger isn't here, you don't need it. Because mass orbs is really good against skeletons. We don't have many skeletons here at all. But we still have a big mana potion. We still have a beast scroll. Can you deal with ghouls? Fifty fifty. Everything is clumped up. This is supposed to be a fest. Oh, the soul burn was sick. Breaks through it with an invul potion. Lich in a bit of trouble, but he connects well. Headhunters are falling quickly. Level two incinerate. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give it to me. It's so good. 
Oh oh, DK. Trouble City gets out with the TP and a dispel. Well done. Come on. Oh my god, this Fire Lord. He's plus 17, plus the orb effect, and we're still sleeping on the Scroll of the Beast. Yeah, incinerate too. Let's go. Can you look up how much extra damage it is? Is it four per hit now? Five per hit? And yeah, of course, incinerate uses mana, but if you have statues, that's no problem. Tanky TC, by the way. Katka's pipe, amazing! Okay, who's the fastest viewer? Bonus damage, 2, 3, 4, really? Wasn't that changed? Wasn't that buffed? Okay, 3 damage per hit. Does it work on the granite? No, right? Oh, that would be sick, but because he's magic immune, it doesn't. Duels with 1-1 one, one upgrade, expansion again. The Dragon of Courage doesn't boost the Fire Lord, so I give it a boo. Corruption open Fire Lord, please. And uh, no, because then Incinerate isn't working anymore because it is considered an orb effect. So it would override, like, either the Orb of Corruption overrides the Incinerate or Incinerate overrides the Orb of Corruption. Two base, two base. Incinerate duration from two to four seconds. Oh, the damage was doubled, almost. Damn, Incinerate got buffed hard and it's still not played. A player's forces are under Up attack. until now! Thank you, Pishna, for the support. The holiday spirit here today. A town is under siege. Dude, the Fire Lord damage is not to be underestimated, apparently. It looks pretty good. I mean, he's also plus 25 now with Roar. That's sick. And he's a glass cannon, that's also for sure. He's ravaging this base. Oh my god, 1 2 0 wins with a Fire Lord. Let's see. Maybe Soin can smash this fight. Uh, no chance for it kills the next Boro as well. Not even too many losses except the TP. You know what? Ghouls plus Roar? Really good. We're getting closer to plus four. So in rebuilds here, I like it. So I'm supposed to do. He can't rebuild at the moment. Does he have a clue about this expansion? Three, three, three heroes. Level two chain lightning already, so faster level up won't do much against destroyers. A player's forces are under attack. Ooh, this is big. No TP. This expo is dead. Too fragile, 1 to 0. Too fragile. DK not part. Statue, ghouls all missing. There's a TP. Soin can destroy this and then portal home. That's exactly what he's doing. And now 1 to 0 is under pressure. Look at the lad. It is 45 damage per explosion. It's not too bad. But man, the headhunter damage is insane! 
TC is soul burned again, but not for much longer thanks to the invo potion. Ghouls are being greeted by all this AoE. Fire Lord, carry me, save us! And man, in combination with Nova, this is pretty sick. But yeah, he needs more connections. Good splits against the incinerate. That stomp was questionable. 1 to 0 down to 50. Destroyers are suffering. This is 15 supply about to fall. DK has a big mana potion though. These coils need to be on point. Fire Lord is trying his darnest to get rid of these Wyvern. Next coil. There we are. Where's this fight gonna end up? I don't know. On the ledge, Chain Lightning Hex. Perfectly done. And we call for the game. Poor Fire Lord. Not even the Fire Lord could prevent 1 to 0 from losing this game against a lot of headhunters. So when there was well fought. Not having a town portal there. Was quite a mistake, apparently. Expo not saved. And then he was forced. It was fun, indeed. Fire Lord. How much damage was it in the end? Hard to read for me. 10k! Number one damage dealer on the undead side. <laughs> 10k damage. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think we need to buff the Orb of Corruption so it gives 10 damage. So was it really a mis was it really a misclick and he wanted Dark Ranger? Why not twenty? Also a good idea. I thought I'm a little conservative, but I'm fine with twenty. Ah, get up yet. You meant minus 10 armor? <laughs> oh my god. That would be so sick. Yeah, minus 10 armor. Absolutely reasonable. At time, you're damn right. Seems like the admin is not rehosting the game. Play ads now? I do. Maybe you just don't get them. Oh, maybe they changed the game mode? Yeah, I'm curious how fast Blizzard is with the next iteration. We gave them all our feedback. Well, Remo didn't, because uh, he had other things to do. But we gave them a tournament. Would be nice if they stayed this agile. And get rid of that stupid toggling circlet. I will hate them. In every single cast, if the toggle circlet stays in. And you don't want that. Black dots on the forehead? Maybe it's from the headset? I don't know. Is it gone? Jabba can't go out. Will fish be delivered for you? Can you get uh, Philo fish to you? That's the most important thing, Jabba. Yeah? Okay, that's important. Philo fish makes you happy, Philo fish makes you healthy. So either I'm the only one that's in the game and it's bugged, or the admin is just missing.
Damn, they're playing. What the hell? Okay, so apparently this is only bugged for me. Let's check Flow TV. Trying to get there as fast as I can. You know me. Private game. <sighs> that sucks. Okay. Let's see. Uh, fly is streaming. I'm getting there. That, of course, means we have no sound, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. At least we have the game. Uh, sorry about that. Bugs can happen. Every now and then. Sorry. So, DK and Farseer on Turtle Rock. Double Beastery and Wyvern then? Yeah, tier 3 must be Wyvern. Pretty sure about that. Ghoul's pretty hurt. Farseer, almost no progress. <laughs> this design is also... Wonky. Okay, why were no raiders? Chain lightning and shockwave or stomp? That's the question. <laughs> Fire Lord, yeah, of course. Okay, Lich coming, Wyvern it is. No Raider lane by so and Yeah, the tier 3 quite an indicator for that. I've got the numbers are just all over the place always. Yeah, Turtle Rock, big map. I uh, wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of creeping still. But then the Wyvern timing will get rid of it. Yeah, that's the crazy creeping now. Easy to catch up in levels. Quick Fiend transition. After the Ghoul opener. I feel like Undeads are still trying to figure out what the best way is versus Mass Wyvern. I don't have an answer. It was kind of fun to see gargoyles because then uh, there's a transition towards bad riders and then, you know, coil nova against bad riders and stuff. Turtle Rock, UD vs. Orc. Yo, that's pretty park indeed. Oh, reinforced defense just finished perfectly. Well done. Can he still hold though? Wyvern wept. Ah, what a donation. What's up with these donations the players give each other in the past couple of days? So expensive. And in the end, he gets the burrow thanks to all the skeletons. Yeah, that's pretty effective already. So in Supply Blocked, he needs to do massive, MASSIVE damage, but it's only two heroes trying to force a TP. Very understandable, but with the ghouls untouched, like, is there a reason to go back? I'm not sure. Oh, well, now there is. Or is there? Can't the Wyvern be targeted anymore? I think the peons are safe in the burrows. 
There's the target fire. But he's losing the haunted coal mine. What the hell? On the cost of like two wyvern or something? Decided not to TP. Oh, one two zero has no gold for the gold mine. <gasps> Oof. Okay. What the? I think one two uh, uh, so it is healing up a little bit, but I mean this echo is wrecked too. He can still sell some items and then he should be able to go for it or we just fight and then it's next game. This is so odd. Yeah, I could unsummon the altar, that's true. I don't know if he's, he's, he's tier 2 or tier 3. He's tier 2 only? Ooh, that's also not too great. Trying to block. Next chain lightning or a couple of more attacks is the DK kill. Okay, that's game. <laughs> what a clown fiesta, dude. Well, well. Um, so it takes the lead. So it takes the lead with a two and one. Uh, one game was a Fire Lord, and the other game was a base race. You know, sometimes. <laughs> weird decision making, then, I guess. Little bit of weird decision making. Happens to the best of us. Want to see her trying to keep Undead from being nerfed? <laughs> yeah, this was an odd game. Now we go on to Echo Isles. I really hope he's scouting for expansions here. Otherwise, he's trailing three and one. And you don't want that. Here we go. There's your sound, everybody. Welcome back, sound. Yeah, I know, it's outrageous. What's the play? I'm pretty sure if you're so in, you stick with the Farseer Headhunters. Works fine. Or Farseer Wyvern, anything. Up to 1 to 0 to play his best. Haven't seen that in a bit. That's a lot better. I know. You know, I don't like the restreams either. But sometimes the game bugs. And then that's what we gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. That's facts. Should we copy the Chinese overlay? What do you think, guys? Is it better than ours? Need more numbers? Yeah, we need everything cluttered. I thought so. DK ghouls for the eighth time today. And again, a fast tech. Soen has no reason to move away from this.
Best overlay, it's when it's more overlay than game. Oh, damn, that's gonna be rough. I think we can do player pictures here and here. Man, he is actually trying to expand. I knew it. What? Just lets the Acolyte die without micro? Oof. Okay, gets the last hit. That's important. One Acolyte is, I guess, fine. But, yeah, he's trying to brute force it. That was a big steal here. That prevents level 2 almost. There are some mistakes on 1 to 0 side. But okay, he's trying with the 2 base. A player's Expansion or main base reestablished. But is this... Is this doable against wolves? Apparently. Level 2 is still in reach, I think, but the pressure is not stopping. Wolves, Farseer, even the Headhunter tower only now started. That's a cancel, isn't it? Oh, new wolves, yep! And he just walks away like that with a strut, with a strut. Okay. So when it's already tier 2, he's already getting a TC, and he continues the harass. Oh, the Murloc's getting involved as well. Not 1 to zero's day. Once again, maybe he's still affected from his illness in the past couple of days. How... Is he defending? Radar Walker push. Look at this. That's something we haven't seen today. Walkers in general. Not the fashion of the month. So let's go. Uh, ghouls can of course still pressure counter expansions. Is that the play? Stays on tier 2, plays Raider Walker, going for the counter expansion. That's his choice. No all in, no wyvern. Fascinating. And with that, 1 to 0, still has some time. No storm first, only aura. And everything's safe. This seems too passive to me from so inside. Easy cancel. Especially without Stomp. Good delay, more time for 1 to 0. He's gonna get up to 50 soon. Tier 2, 2 thirds done. And then it's really hard to stop. How do you stop a double base 1 to 0? With hero focus, I guess. Nice raider position. That he did really well. And secure the stop. Or is it wave? So Lin was one of the first to play shockwave versus human. And Lin won with shockwave before today.
And here it is. We have the decision. Should have the decision now. No, not yet. Two and a half. Doesn't want to invest it too early. Siege damage is okay. Doesn't take that much damage thanks to Spirit Link. Spirit Tower down. Level three. It's wolves. Ooh, this Berserker is not having a fine life. Ah, ah. Stomp it is. And one to zero, man. These fiends. God damn, this timing is hitting hard. Lich is coming to the rescue with Frost Armor again. That is the flavor of the month, especially for one to zero. Oh, the heal scroll is sick. Even the Mauler is coming in for some additional damage. Frost Armor indeed helping out here. Two more kills on the table. Wait, he wants the Lich? He realized there's no more mana on the DK. Kind of both surrounded and blocked. Complete chaos in like 75% of the fights today. Wow, that's feat number four or something. He got more than half a level. And all that's left is a mauler. Fiend farming simulator, right on. That was the necessary time for the expo. Two base, two base. A player's forces are under attack. And now we can afford the tier three. Hmm. We have ourselves a game, ladies and gentlemen. One to zero still trailing. I wonder if that's due to the harass. Or if it's just his new style to play tier 2. Pretty sure on this map he'd love to have a tier 3 support. Raiders have no pillage, by the way. Mm. Who will run bye bye 1 to 0? No? Retreats? Okay. This time he TPs a lot earlier. I'm, I'm pretty sure. So Win doesn't want to fight this, or does he? Mana is kind of low. Can't connect to the Storm. Oh, the Kodo gets the Mauler. That's insane value. Oh, that was expensive and gives a bunch of XP. Statue about to fall, Fiend about to fall. Where are all the walls in the fight? It would be so good. Not even the towers can help one to zero. Wolves eating acolytes and maybe we had ourselves a game wolves are kind of getting destroyed by walkers though what the hell another fiend falling and another fiend falling mass murder on spiders is that even allowed or is this animal cruelty by now game and I don't know, but if you ask me, 1 to 0 feels a little triggered today. Or, you know, sick and not feeling it, but 3 and 1. That means Orc is 7 and 2 against 1 to 0 today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yesterday and today's been off his game. Yeah, um, maybe still feeling the aftermath of his illness. So cut him some slack. I definitely will. But man, so in decision making. One to zero loss means happy wins the tournament. Hmm. Happy has two matches left as well. Versus Soin and versus one to zero. But that's huge losses on the map score. For one to zero now. But I think theoretically it should still be possible. 
A lot depends on the... Um, a lot depends on the scores. Match points. Three match points. Conceals the map. Oh. Yeah, we shouldn't expect uh, an expansion there. Wait, is it this weird bug where everybody is joining but me? Nope. We all failed. Nice. Good for us, so we don't have to use the restream. <laughs> like your hoodie? Thank you. Me too. That's why I'm wearing him for four days, I think. <laughs> okay, second try to load into Concealed. Looking good. Looking good. Yeah, we get it. Okay. So, and can you close this out? Four and one? Or will the necromancer return? Damn sick. He's suffering quite a bit today, 120. Poor soul. But yeah, it was noticeable from the very, very first game. That's kind of tough on him. These days. Or at least today. Quite some mistakes here and there. A little sloppy, not fully concentrated, maybe. And someone is just not switching up the build, right? There's no reason to, really. Everything works out for him, and it's just also like he can start with this build and then adjust on tier 2 to whatever. We've seen Raider Walker, we've seen a lot of Headhunters, we've seen Wyvern. Pretty nice! It is the fastest tech in all of Warcraft. Whew. It feels like 1 to 0 doesn't have the perfect solution. Town is under siege. Next to maybe being still a bit ill. Experimenting quite a bit, throwing an expansion in here and there. Sometimes fiends, sometimes not, sometimes ghouls, sometimes gargs. Little um yeah, there's no cookie cutter build against it, obviously. And yeah, no expansion this time. That's for the better. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, um, this is kind of interesting. 1-0 brings the fight to Soen, doesn't want to be harassed. 
at his main base. So he just runs across and is now getting harassed at Soin's main base. And he's losing half of his HP for a circlet and a... This is not good. At least the economy is right there. And he got the entire camp. Sweet as well. Yeah, this... Um, he can fall back to the fountain now and then continue. This is really wild. What the hell is going on? Good question. Rush across the entire base. Uh, yeah. Prevents you from faster aggression, I guess, for a bit. But as you saw, this is rather easily defended. Headhunter's coming in. Sick blocks. Level 2 secured. Not bad, but he needs a dagger, doesn't he? Pretty sure he does. I watch Neo for the awesome commentary and good looks. He won't see the comment. That's true. I never read chat. Okay, dagger it is, but no healing yet. Stolen. Some good experience. Oh, can you get the headhunter? Quick, 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 little ghouls, quick, little ghouls. There we go, with the help of the rocks. The only damage basically put on the DK. Isn't it fascinating how much trouble 1 to 0 has at times with this harass and when someone is playing against Happy, <laughs> nothing really happens? Forces are under attack. Shadow Hunter this time. Hmm. Curious. More headhunters then, I guess. TC third. And if it's Wyvern, it's TC second. Good saves on most of the headhunters, but Dark Ranger said like, this is what he wanted all along. Okay. Turn the headhunters into undead. That's the theme here. But yeah, level 4 1 to 0 is really good. Thanks to the dagger and the aura. HP is looking fine as well. Continues to be a little aggressive with the positioning. But that's about it. Yeah, you, you gotta. With all these skeletons, you gotta make use of it. Steal stuff from your opponent. Expansion is a little too risque. The green is not too rewarding. But he can't give up the ogre. Oh, Hex. Didn't get... Oh, so install it. Replenishment potion, nice to have. Really important, though. Hex on the DK so he can't throw a coil. Also, if the Dark Ranger finishes it, and there's no experience for the DK, and you want the level 3, and with that, we got Chain Lightning. Is this a setup for the orb build against the Mask Alleys? Oh, T3 is so fast. Jesus. Almost no losses for Soen in this game, right? And now I can creep like Ray Cray. Every single camp falls in seconds. As we have to still wait for the Lich, Frenzy, and Destroyers. Really curious about the prioritization by Soen now. Like, Expo first, Orbs first? It's, what is it?
feels like nothing's going really wrong for Soen. He was probably a little bit surprised early. Oh, no orb. He was probably a little bit surprised early, but adjusted. And since then, the game is going in his favor. Defended against the big Dark Ranger timing. Oh, call from downtown. As there was no chain lightning. Dark Ranger not three. Shadowhunter also not three. But Berserker is up. Is so strong. A player's forces are under attack. Peak orc play, army diversity, headhunters, 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 headhunters. Steals a lot though. One two zero does. Lich arriving now. Frenzy done. Destroyer's done. Time for the big fight, everybody. Ghouls have no upgrades though. That always seems like a little bit of a mistake to not have at least an armor upgrade, but of course you want to rush Destroyer and Frenzy. And there is a retreat. Big camp. Big opening for Soen as well. He's looking for it. He wants this fight. He's ready. Almost no consumables though. That might be a mistake. The heal wave doesn't connect for some reason. Dust settles. Soen gets the big one. There's not much 1 to 0 can do about it. There's nothing 1 to 0 can do about it, right? Trying the third attack upgrade on the way. This is so expensive. 375 lumber or something. 325. Okay, scroll of the beast. Is that it? The TC Storm lands almost perfectly. Dragon is still involved. Magi is still involved. Oh, 1 to 0. This is not looking too bad. Exactly. So it realizes this too. TP's out. And that is the Drake and the Fountain for the undead. Lionheart is fantastic. More armor in general. Really good. I think Soen took out... Almost all of the ghouls. Damn. Okay, are we fighting for the second fountain too? Still no orb. Is that a mistake? He was so high on orbs for a while. Even bought two. A player's forces are under attack. So many skeletons. But for how long? The duration of most of them is supposed to be over. A new connects well. But what about the rest? No chain lightning here. Silence on the TC. Silence on the Shadow Hunter as well. Nicely hitting here, but the DK is just too easy to defend against them. Focus him, and that's pretty much it. There's catch missing in this army. No end snare. Don't want to use the hex. Supply lead for the undead though, and if he plays it from behind, call Nova, call Nova, call Nova. That should be 1 to zero's game. Raiders are coming in now. A little bit of hero focus as the Shadow Hunter was far forward. Also, the, what are the statues doing here? Oops, that's odd. But okay. Not a biggie. This entire army is statues destroyers. That's about it. Raider number one nuked almost immediately. It's all about the sustain. 
all about the sustain. This is t uh, potentially 10 supply about to drop for the undead, but also headhunter numbers. Like, where's the damage? This Dark Ranger is playing out nicely. 10 supply down now. Oh, even more as 120 says goodbye with a double kill on headhunters. That was sweet. That was exactly what we wanted all along. Thank you, I am Master, for the three month resub. It's not looking too bad for game six, if no big mistake. No TP on so in. TC with the rune braces is awesome! Can he get some kills? Ghouls falling. Mana is a huge issue though. How do you get home without a speed scroll and without a TP? I think you don't. Through the middle, okay, but not without losses. He has full mana. OMG. He's tanky. He could maybe become a carry. But not without headhunters, is there? Is there a chance? Could have been way worse here. That was a stomp. Alright. Unit safe to the side. Elephant room. Thank you for the two month resub. Are we getting a streak? Game still up for grabs. But 120 feels very safe. In upkeep, goes for an expansion. As we mix wire, man. There needs to be clarities now. I feel like the sh uh, Farsia is a little underwhelming. Also, the TC never making it to three. But also 120. No TP. That's a statue for almost free. Oh no! Saves it with four! And then, of course, later it can be repaired. Stop. Good. Now level 3. There is cooldown on it. New skeletons rising. This is not a done deal yet. Especially with the mana on the Shadow Hunter and TC. But the damage is not online. Wyvern down. Raider down. Headhunter. Where are they supposed to go? The late game value of ghouls. And it's game. 1-2-0 gives us more entertainment. Once he gets a solid early game, once he gets the right hero combo out. And then it's a win. Solid play. Very surprising to see his, far, uh, his DK harass early on as a countermeasure to the Farsi harass. And then it just worked. few unlucky situations for Soen, but yeah, he wasn't ready for the meta plays. Still match points though. UD smash that filthy orc horde. Still match points on Last Refuge. A smaller map, symmetry wise, relatively even to concealed. 
Real Tour Ninja, thank you for the sub. New dad, no sleep, let's watch some games. Oh boy. I hope I won't keep you up too long. Take care, mate. All the best to you. Is there pressure now on Soen? Does he start thinking? Ah, oh, damn. He's playing correct now. He's making fewer mistakes. He even gets the real heroes. Mm. Does the new point system make it harder for you to find games when you're inactive for a couple of weeks? I wasn't inactive for a couple of weeks, but for me, I had never issues finding games. As this is once again a join bug, I guess. Yep, that was to be expected. Like, it's a big problem that they don't restart their Warcraft after one of these bugs. And then the chances for another join bug to happen after a join bug are quite high. That's why I'm always the last in the lobby. Tomorrow there's more games from the Doobie Cup, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, round 21. Let's see, who plays tomorrow? Oh, Lin Lawlight, Happy Sewin, Colorful Kaho. Sick. And we got ourselves a game, everybody. Or do we? Yeah, looking good. So if you went and got some snacks, then this is the time to come back now fast. Oh, oh no, is the overlay bugged? Oh no. Yep. Oh shit. It's a little bit of a cursed day today. So, um, yeah, we have to live without an overlay. Sorry. Can sometimes happen when the game loads too long, API doesn't start. It is what it is. Um, so an upper right, one to zero, bottom left. Still chances to clutch this out. But it seems like you need to bring your A game now against 1 to 0. No gifts anymore. No Fire Lord second shenanigans. Just straight up plays. Dawn of War 90, thank you for the sub. 37 months already, man. Thank you. And it's once again a fast here. Ooh, Ted Fiends! It is a different build. Look at this. So, some people 
are convinced that Wyvern will be hard countered by a Dead Fiend build. So when it's not scouting, he doesn't know this. But I guess he's gonna pressure over and scout them with Wolves and Farsia. Anyway. This is this a wall off? A player's forces are under attack. Okay, very curious about this now. Fasia will see eight. There's no ghouls. What is happening? And then he knows what's up. Lasted important. Goes to the DK. Claws as well. That's good experience. Also a lot of damage. Wolves are coming from the left. We gotta take a look. Scout Acolyte. Oh, the Blight region. Gets the kill eventually. DK has to respond to this. And Soen knows what's up. So far, no racks at all. Changes now. As the DK stays on Blight, I don't think his health problems are a big issue now. Oh, he must have gotten... Oh, I got a skeleton and an acolyte. This one is denied, though. Do you still play Wyvern? Lin defeated him with just Raiders. Raiders, TC, Shockwave, Chain Lightning, kill the base. The player's forces are under attack. Is that a possibility for Soin too? His shock moves are really good. But uh, it's either Wyvern or just Mass Headhunters. Look at the TC Headhunters. Okay, second skeleton down. One quarter of a level reached. Uh, yeah, oh my god, the tech, the tier three tech. Is he creeping with a skull? No, he's not, right? Wants to rush to the middle. So DK Fiend's Dark Ranger? That's what's happening. Who? This is a lot of skeletons in the north. Then what do you push? Are you trying to go for the beasteries? These burrows are very defensive. Looks like someone is ready for this. <sighs> wow, power creep. A player's forces are under attack. Wait, what? Okay, stealing the Merc camp. Why not? I feel a base race is coming, boys. Crazy good levels on the Dark Ranger already. A crazy good progress. Plus items, etc. But soon. Playing home again. This is really nice. 
He wants to punish him. Force a town portal, maybe. No level 3 heroes just yet. We're kind of far away with all of the heroes except the DK. But yeah, if fiends fall, that's an issue. Headhunter's very, very squishy at the moment. A feast for Dark Ranger. But fiends are too expensive. Can't use them. Mana was an issue. Well, it wasn't even. It was too available. Could have stayed a little longer. Again, the mass headhunter. I'm curious if this works against the Dark Ranger. Shadowhunter about to pop out. This one. Yeah, Berserker upgrade. Already finished. But 1 to 0 has a great information. <laughs> this is definitely a coil steal. Yep, you can't do anything against that. It was a little obvious. Might still be able to get it with the Shadow Hunter coming in. Took some time. Sweet wave by the Ogre Lord. My. Once again, no orb. No orb, no second base. And he gives up the rat spot. Or is he just looking for a different angle? Players' forces are under attack. No, gives it up. But one to zero gives it up as well. Nobody wants red spots apparently. Sentry, what's for no one? So it has a speed scroll, can get out. Because there's no way he can fight this. With these levels he got. Silence yet. Holding on, holding on. There it is, right before the storm. Sweet Nova 2 in Wu Potion. Here comes the splits. And it's not just, not much to hit. Two Berserkers down pretty much immediately. That's number three, and he calls for the game. What a sick play by 1 2 0 this was. The Ted Fiends working out fine. Couldn't find a sweet spot to attack. Couldn't find time to level at all. And all of a sudden, this game is on 3 3. And 1 2 0 could still compete with Happy. Ooh, this is tricky for Soen now. Does he realize what the big mistake was? Was he just out crept hard? Did he fight or did he give the Dark Ranger too much time in the north? Was it too passive? 1 to 0. That Dark Ranger timing was flawless. Rushing through the middle to get the lady and then creep craft. Too, too many headhunters like this is the last game of the day then I'll also uh, appreciate a little break as we cast it last night until like 1am and got up early today okay so when is ready 1 to 0 is ready we are ready. Gindo, thank you for the sub. 
Next to last being standing, great performance was cheering for you. Thank you for that. And also thank you for the 29 month of uh, trust and support. Yeah, last being standing was was an amazing experience. Totally not my comfort zone. As it's not Warcraft. <laughs> but apart from that, super fun. Decision time. 1 to 0 lost one series already. It looked like you would lose this series too. But then something in him awakens. Still shave the other competitors. Own that lying dice. Own that looping Louis. Own that flappy bird. Own that the quiz. High score at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I did quite well. High score, uh, did well at bowling too. Yep. I owned. I owned. 1 to 0 versus so in. The decision. One more map. And is it Ted Fiends? We are on Tide Hunters. Smaller map. Is there still space? This looks like a ghoul build to me. Can he be successful with that? Or is it expansion time again? Ooh, on tight hunters, it's relatively easy to scout compared to twisted. Sticking with the fast, yeah. Both sticking with their guns. Kills the crab, so there's a corpse available. Will the acolyte stick around or be back in time? So, and again, playing this blind, as you have, if you want to go for this pretty uninspired build by Soen, especially in comparison to Lin. No big diversity, big trust in the Headhunters. But yeah, also in comparison to uh, Focus, for example, very little Wyvern. Okay, keeps the TP. No Expo. Yeah, that is... Um, that's the right call. Yeah, rather conservative. Both of them playing it safe. I mean, the fast tech is not necessarily safe, but... You know what I mean. Feels like one to zero has this down now, though. Not taking too much damage. Getting a lot of last hits. Running away from the wolves. Oh. <laughs> oh he got something. Was that the turtle? This is the big one though. <gasps> Sick. But now he's trapped. Is he trapped? No, just a little bit. So what did the Farseer get? Nothing. Oh, just two skeletons then. Or a ghoul. 
Yeah, just two, two skeletons. Yeah, it felt like it was rather obvious that the top undeads do have problem with Wyvern. But someone doesn't want to punish this. Scout Acolyte! Ah, yeah, of course, 25. Oh, God, I need a break. Brain fog for sure. And this looks like so in Saras against Happy when he can't get anything, when every coil is a hit, when every last hit goes to the undead. A player's forces are under attack. Should I hunt a tier 3? Similar build to what we've seen before. Can he block the tavern a little longer? To make this Dark Ranger play more punishing. About time soon. So in safe wire for the decision match? Nope. Just headhunters. Kind of funny how a few weeks ago he was so greedy and skipped almost everything to go to tier 3 and also play expansions and orbs and then build army. Now completely different. I think we've seen one tiny great hall and one orb on a blade. Apart from that, yeah, this is a dark ranger again. Tech finishes, here she is. Clear. He has a nice name. And this is where the trouble begins. Level 1-1. One, one. Close to level 3 DK. Dark Ranger again. Creeping like cray cray. Need to at least unlock the chain lightning. And that's exactly what he does. With hex, chain lightning, and headhunters. It is a weird position though. Can he steal? That would be the level misses it by an inch. And turns around. Oh, the headhunter is not part of this. At least he gets level 2 here. Dark Ranger good. She's really good. Especially against Headhunters. And as a supporting hero later on. Because everything she kills turns into a skeleton. And Headhunters are rather squishy, so she kills them fast. And then a lot of Orc units turn into a lot of Undead units. Soen is missing uh, Burrow. Leads me to believe that he wants a tiny Great Hall. Or what do you think? Or he just forgot about it and is now blocked at 39. He forgot about it and is blocked at 39. These steals are getting better and better. But also, so are the levels by Soin. Double big mana? Oh boy. How do you want to win this? against these items. That is 500 extra mana. <laughs> oh. Ooh, so it is in trouble city. This is 
is four coils, two Nova. Each. The, fuck? the turnaround in this series is really incredible. Also incredible creeping for so and gets the level three TC perfectly for the fight. This has to work big time. Get rid of the ghouls as fast as possible, prevent the skeletons from rising. Almost no fighting items here though. Did he sell one invul or use it? I'm not uh, one, one mana potion or use it. I'm not too sure. Spamming the chain lightning, absolutely necessary. Splits. Oh, what's the Shadow Hunter doing there? Completely out of position. <sighs> Still survives, gets a potion. DK also far forward, throws another coil offensively. And the Nova to follow it up and for the kill without losing a single ghoul at the very end. Has to give up the spot, has to give up the TP, but second hero dead. So we mask also good. Oof. This is not how you want your game to go. Exactly. You have everything lined up. And then your healer gets annihilated. Sad. I think back for the tavern, but the mana deficit is crazy. Off we go. That needs to be a clarity, but it's only 100 mana out of 360. Wants to contest the red spot because otherwise the lich is getting out of control. Big camp. Heal ward. Nice. Clarity not running. This shadow hunter is more or less useless. Highest level here is the Dark Ranger, lol. However, uh, that works. Uh oh. Every single spell is a kill, and the heal wave is missing again. We've seen this before. So, in supply deficit, hero deficit. Lich not three yet. Next Nova. Mm. Is one to zero willing to fight while the granite is there? It's very pretty unpredictable. Oh no! One to zero got it! Also the item, he needs zero kills now! Goes in with the hex, no dispel on it! Damage not enough! No chain lightning because there was a silent shadow hunter again in a world of hurt! And so is so in as one to zero is winning three games in a row! Oh boy, double kill for the Necromancer. He needs the DK. He can't because then his Fossier dies as well. All this, all the statues will heal now. It is only heroes though, but it's the hero combo. Dark Ranger, Lich, DK. There's no chance, especially now with the level three Lich. Ooh, this is heartbreaking. Nova is sick, too sick, GG, poor Soen. But while Lin was able to surprise 120 every single time with new builds and new shenanigans, Soen did the same thing every single map, basically, especially in the last stages. And then 120 found the counter. And at the very end, Nuking the Shadow Hunter into Oblivion was the counter. Four to three. At some point in this series, everything fell apart for Soen. Very, very unfortunate. That puts one to zero on one loss, one win today. So he's not 
without flaws anymore. But winning three maps in a row here, incredibly important to be still competitive with Happy when it comes to the tournament the Victory, who's currently 7-0. and Moon already done with 7-2 and two and 1-0 to zero now at 6-1. and one. He still has to play Kaho, which is not going to be too easy. And the big match between 1-0 to zero and Happy in two days, I believe. So more matches from Kaho. Also the last match of Lin tomorrow versus Law Lyot, who's unfortunately 0-6. and six. Uh, Fortitude closed the series or closed the tournament with two wins in a row. It's now at 3-6. to six. And Colorful will also do some games. There is a few days left in the Doobie Cup. Lin vs. Law Light, Happy vs. Soen, and Colorful vs. Kaho tomorrow. Then we get Law Light and Chemiko and 1 to 0 vs. Kaho the day after. And then the big finale on December 22nd with Colorful vs. Chemiko and Happy vs. 1 to 0. You guys shall not miss any of this. I will get some food and some drinks and some. Re a relaxing evening, hopefully. A little burned out, but thank you all for the support for tuning in. We had more than almost two and a half K viewers on a Monday afternoon. Uh, it's not normal. I appreciate all of you a lot for tuning in and supporting and, you know, interacting and chatting, etc, etc. Feels really good. Uh, Remo is supposed to be back tomorrow. Let's see if that works out. And I'll be hosting Mr. Positivity, Grinchy, Uno for some Night Elf plays, everybody. Uh, send some love to Grinchy, B2W Woofies or B2W uh, Heart. Grinchy deserves it. He's the kindest soul. So enjoy Grinchy and see you tomorrow.